Changing the filter is not the easiest thing in the world, but it needs to be done when, you know, whenever it tells you to. Especially changing just the, uh, uh, what you call, the uh, inline filter. And there's two inline filters, and then of course there's a reverse osmosis filter. And so I'll show you. This will lift up off its hanger, and then we're going to drag it out here. Take it out here and put it in this pan, easy to work on. You always want to keep the wrench handy that undoes all the filter cases. Open up the uh, open up the valve. In other words, just turn it on until turn it on to get pressure off of the lines because you don't want to have that running. Anyway, we're ready to start taking these things apart. This faucet is going to have to run for 20 minutes. That's what the uh, instructions requested. So we'll do that and I sure hope that this is going to help you. And one thing I would suggest is don't do like me and use an electrical light. Get you a a battery powered light to put under there. The only reason I use this one is because I didn't know how long this was going to take. Didn't want to run my battery down. So whatever you do, be sure to use a battery powered some kind of light. Well, it is kind of messy. Rinsing this thing under pressure in your sink. Oh boy. Okay. Let's get this thing off of there. And make sure your hands are clean too. The way I put it in, you probably couldn't see it. This this faces towards you, and then it just you pull the other one out, and then this one just slides in, and then you just keep turning it until you feel it drop in. Oh boy, now the fun part. Two tablespoons of bleach in each one. Okay, we'll kind of mix that up a little bit. Make sure to check to make sure these rings not on the the, uh, the top of this thing. You be sure to take that off. If not, it's going to leak. Okay, and tighten them best you can. Snug them off with the wrench. That's what the little end is for. The element contains 
preservative solution. That's all it says. So this membrane element contains preservative solution to prevent microbiological growth and freezing. Elements must be rinsed under pressure before using, before being soaked and stored in water. Discard product water after two hours minimum before using, before drinking any water or food. So it should be element must be rinsed under pressure before being soaked or sto stored in water. Discard this product water for two hours minimum before using drinking or food products. Guess what? I threw the old wing away by mistake. Aren't you glad I'm making this mistake and not you? Okay, let's try it again. When we get pressure, then we'll check it again. And while we're still waiting on it, I thought I'd show you these filters. Here's, here's pre-filter number one, pre-filter number two, clean as a whistle. Probably only needed to clean one. But I would just as soon go ahead and do them both. I'm just one of those that I like to change all the filters at one time, be done with it. This is the one that gets all the really bad stuff. Well, I might run out of battery here in a minute, but if I do, just to let you know, this faucet is going to have to run for 20 minutes. That's what the uh, instructions requested. So we'll do that, and I sure hope that. This is going to help you.